Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Road to 1400 Month from Affiliate Marketing. Today we're going to go over the analytics like always, straight into Search Console and the Google Analytics. So over in the Google Analytics, you'll see we have dropped since February, going all the way down to around 500 users a day. Then even further down to around 400 at the start of March, then back up and back up again to 600. Now these two days, I did put some posts on Reddit that went semi-viral. They did quite well, you know, they got a couple of upvotes and people come through to the website and a couple email signups. Now I have checked both of these days and the organic traffic actually went up to 519 on this day. So we're going a little bit higher than the 400 mark we have been hitting. But yeah, we've been hit by the, um, there's been a Google update basically. Something I didn't realize till the start of this month, basically there's been a Google update and the site has been hit by it. It's moved all the positions back round again and then it's gone back up again and then it's gone down again. I think this happens honestly every single month. I'm not even gonna, gonna lie. I also think it's partly due to that new strategy I've been using, which is to write all the plugin deals up and then put them on the website because it is thin content and heavily promotional content and Google doesn't like that. So I'm gonna chill a bit on that front and then only do a few of them a week and then do a lot more of the kind of helpful, high quality articles. Then if we go over to Search Console, you can see the position has been bouncing around since February. It always goes around kind of like 17, then all the way back down to 20 and then kind of goes up again. We've been getting around 400, 300 clicks a day and then down and then up again. So we saw 347 yesterday. And if we click on the most recent date, we'll see we have 338 clicks, partial data for 8th of March, which was yesterday. So I'm gonna expect that to go above and beyond that 347 we hit the day before. Moving on to the money, it's been pretty slow this month on this particular affiliate. As you can see at the start, we had three sales, which was cool. It was like, boom, this is gonna be a good month. Then down to one, two, one, down to zero, then back up to three and then to one. And we haven't had any sales today. Usually we get sales on this affiliate overnight. So we should see some sales this morning, but we haven't um, we haven't seen any sales the start of this month. So we'll just keep going, see what happens. Moving over to Rakuten. Rakuten's paid off quite nicely this month. As you can see, there's a $101 commission up there is what we've earned in commissions this month. And as you can see from the start of March, we've had $14, $29, $15, little bit of a gap there. $1, then $14, then another little tiny gap, and then uh, $28. No free trials have been taken out from that $28, so we've got to see another free trial come through or another commission come through to actually see some more commissions maybe in the next three days, four days, or however long. So we've earned $101 on this particular affiliate so far, which is great. And moving over to the next one, we've earned a hell of a lot more. As you can see, we've got $269 commission over in Fiverr. And if you watched the last video, you will have seen $27 on the first day with four registrations. Now it took a couple days and then we had a $92 commission. I woke up, I was like, whoa, that's the biggest commission I've seen in this affiliate yet. I was like, this is a good day. And uh, we had two two registrations. And then if we move over, we have another gap. And then it just comes back even stronger. It's like $150 commission. I was like, what, man? And look, we've got another gap here. So who knows what could happen today? <laughs> just to let you know, guys, the camera has run out of battery. So we're doing it all on screen right now. We've had 11 registrations, a 45% conversion rate, and five FTB. Don't know what that is. 160 unique clicks as well. Then we'll go over to the next affiliate. This is the one I usually do in the group of three. The other two I have checked this morning, nothing to report again, as I don't really promote those ones anymore. I am promoting this one and we've had a total of 11 pound come through. Eight pound on the 2nd of March and then on the 3rd of March we had three pound, but I don't think that's reporting from the 1st of March, which is what I wanna check. So yeah, we've only had 11 pound on this affiliate so far. 
all's good. I mean, let's see what happens over the next couple of days. If we go over to the next affiliate, as you can see, we got paid out $20 and then $8 on the March 4th. We haven't really had any sales come through on this affiliate, again, because it's the news articles and I've decided to go a little bit slower on those news articles. For now, we're gonna be do about two to three a week and then put out more high quality content uh, instead of that. I think that strategy move was not the best idea, but I don't know, I can't tell yet because it's had the Google update and then there's also been, you know, that strategy that I've implemented. So I don't know which one is affecting my site's rankings just yet. Moving over to the newest affiliate that has joined this video for us lovely people to feast our eyes on, me in particular. As you can see, I've earned a total of 22.89 US dollars and I need to earn a total of 100 US dollars to meet that payout requirement. So hopefully I do it this month. I'm seeing a lot more sales come through this affiliate and I haven't seen any sales come through through this for the past four months I have been promoting it so I mean anything is good and it's good that we're seeing stuff moving over to display ads we've been doing pretty well I mean despite the lack of traffic that we've been getting we've been getting about three to four dollars a day even on the kind of like 400 visits that we're getting a day 500 visits a day so Azoic premium is actually really coming in really nice for me or the Azoic algorithm has just basically done its thing and optimized it perfectly for revenue. What I've also done with Azoic as well, I've also added one of those uh, videos in on the website. So I got the a premium review person to add a video. So, uh, so when someone scrolls my website, they go down and there's a video advert. So maybe the video adverts pay more as well. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see over the coming months. As you can see, the 600 visits day got me $4.14. And then the day before, which was like 490 visits, got me $4.09. So it's like, what's the discrepancy there? Then on Sunday, we had $5.59, which was the highest traffic day we've had in a while. And as you can see, Azoic Premium's pulling quite a lot in. And then normal Azoic is actually pulling a, another whole dollar in as compared to March 6th. Moving forward, I got some really good plans plans this month for creating infographics that will basically turn into products that I can sell on my website. So I'm going to put them on posters and people can put them on their walls and stuff if they want to. It's a very, very helpful thing to have in my niche. So I think people will be very excited about that, but only time will tell. So over the next couple of months or the next couple of weeks and days, I've got to make these graphics and I'm going to make the each one per day then i'm going to make an article basically based around these graphics that's like a listicle and it's going to pull in a lot of traffic i'm also going to be designing the shop element of the website as well when i have the time and i'm going to be working on the other products that i'm going to start selling on my website because that's my main kind of focus right now is getting monetization from other areas and moving kind of away from the ad and affiliate earnings but still keeping it there and just having kind of like a blog shop option i've seen this been done with a lot of blogs they still run media vine and they still run ad thrive and things like that and they have products on their website and people will actually go ahead and buy the products on there even though the the the, the articles are just littered with ads so it's obviously working for some people so i'm going to try it out in my niche and see if it works so yeah i mean that's all i've really got to report today guys hope you enjoyed hit the like button go subscribe if you're new for weekly updates and you know twice a week or however often i do these and yeah i will see you on the flip